I'm going to tell you about how to pee <laughs> when you go car camping or uh, my experience with pee bottles. That's, uh, that's probably what this is more about. This is my experience with pee bottles. Um, uh, there's one that I haven't got with me. Oh, here it is. It's all right. I've got it now. So I want to show you various things that I've tried. Uh, I'm a bit shiny and hot because I've just finished setting up the car so that we can finally relax for a bit. And uh, it's warmish, especially when you're moving around a lot. Okay, so where do I start? Now, people have a problem talking about going to the toilet. I don't know why. We all do it. Uh, so, you know, it's... Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to hold this right. I didn't bring the sort of uh, tripod that would have been handy here but uh anyway so yes people don't seem to like talking about going to the toilet now i'm not going to go into great detail here but i am going to have to go in and do a little bit of detail to describe what it's like to use a pee bottle when you don't have the sort of equipment with which you can aim easily <laughs> okay so so this doesn't get demonetized i'm going to use various euphemisms for various body parts so when I first started out uh, thinking about a pee bottle, there were types that were suggested to me and one of them, oops, things come off. One of them is this type. I don't think I can do that. Now this is like, do this. I don't know, I, I think maybe they use them in sort of hospital situations or you know, convalescence homes or whatever. Um, now somebody suggested one of these, which, um, oh, by the way, Alexis is just playing a game there so you can hear her talking to her friend, but that's okay. Um, you should still be able to hear me. It's very easy to pee in cause it's got this yeah. like wide mouth funnel, which makes sure it catches everything, which is great. But my problem was that I didn't want to have an extra thing that I need to clean and then to keep track of the extra thing and also to figure out where I'm going to put the dirty things that I clean it with uh, because this thing comes off um, so if I was to use this this would be dirty so I'd have to clean this and then I'd have rubbish after cleaning that that I have to sort out this has a lid this is awkward with one hand apologies Oh, if you see smoke drifting in here, it's just the mozzie coil. There were a few mozzies around, so I thought I'd get that. <coughs> it's drifting right across my face. You probably can't see it, but woof. Oh my God, it's right across my face. All the windows are open, so it's drifting right through the car, which is good because it means the mozzies won't come in. So it has a lid. However, the lid is not watertight. So if this tips, you're going to end up with urine everywhere. Um... Yeah, it's not a great option. Um, someone on a camping group mentioned to me that they use it and they sort of double bag it and then they have it down on the floor and stuff, but I honestly don't have that many flat spaces around here um, to keep this in a spot easily where it's definitely not gonna leak. And I don't wanna have to do double bags and then it leaks into the bag and then you've just got pee in a bag all over the outside of this. So while it is very easy to use with that wide mouth funnel thing, um, yeah it's um adds extra work that i don't want so not happy with that one i'm gonna have to swap hands here because my arm is getting tired next thing i tried it was one of these it's measurements and where are the measurements this side so this is a one liter bottle i can't remember how much one liter is in imperial measurements you can either figure that out yourself or when it ollie shh, there's lots of other people arriving at this rest area where we are um but i'll either put it on the screen ollie ollie no ollie stay oh my god she's friendly she's just <laughs> the dog jumped out of the car to um bark at someone anyway i'm, I'm sorted out again now uh right so um yeah i'll put the conversion on the screen later if i remember so yeah it's actually a water bottle and i got it because uh you can get like it's a decor brand of this same one but it's sort of um this uh sort of partly partly translucent 
sort of uh, finish and I don't want pee just lying around in the car looking like pee because urine gross um, I you know I know as I said we all pee but I don't necessarily want to look at it and I also don't I mean it's not likely to happen but what if someone saw it and thought it was apple juice or something Ugh, gross <laughs> Um, so yeah, I got this because it has a fairly wide mouth. I thought it would be wide enough and I did successfully test this. Um, now therein lies my downfall. I tested it once. Uh, when you have body parts that you're not able to aim easily when you pee, uh, depending on how shall I put this depending on how flappy you are <laughs> it can change your aim and change the direction of the flow and all sorts of things because uh, the first time I used it when we went car camping I needed to pee right before we were going to sleep and I used this bottle and uh, I didn't quite line it up right. And stupidly, I didn't put anything uh, waterproof below me. And I peed all over my pants and all over my trousers and all over my bed. <laughs> and of course, uh, you know, like urine comes out of your body, body temperature. And uh, I couldn't tell until it had sort of started cooling as it was flowing down my legs. And uh, that wasn't good. <laughs> so... <laughs> First night car camping using a pee bottle. I peed my pants. Uh, thankfully, we were staying at a friend's house and I was able to um, just throw my ducks out the door onto their grass and I, I did a load of washing in the morning. I have to change arms again. Oh, arm is getting very sore doing that. Uh, right, so uh, yes, yeah, so that, that was sorted easily enough, but I didn't want a repeat of that performance. So I decided I'd need something with a slightly wider mouth than this. Now I'm going to show you some actual measurements of this bottle compared to oof, this bottle. I looked for the Nalgene bottles because I know they've got the extra wide mouth. And this one is like, I don't know, like a special release one. And it's the only one that I've come across in my search, which admittedly I wasn't searching for weeks or anything. I was just searching over the course of maybe half a day. But Nalgene bottles tend to be clear. <coughs> they come in different colors, but they're all clear. And this is the only one I've found that isn't clear because that's what I wanted. Um, as I said, I'll show you those measurements. I'll probably insert that here or something. Uh, the opening is about 4.6 millimeters. It's just a teeny bit too small, as I discovered. This one, the opening is 5.2 and a bit millimeters. If you want to see that in inches, you can see it in inches. Let's see here. The bigger one is two and a bit inches and the small one is a little over one and three quarter inches. This one I thought was going to be okay, it wasn't quite. This one, even though it's not that much bigger, has seemed to make the difference so far. Um, the other difference between these is this one has an attached lid. This had a separate lid, which which was slightly annoying because it meant that it was, you know, really easy to lose it. Funnily enough, this blue is almost an exact match of the blue here. <laughs> Looks like it was made for it. It wasn't. So there we go. There are the measurements of those two bottles so far. I'll just put that down there for a moment. So this, I decided I would test more than once. Uh, I tested it in the bath quite a number of times, like maybe 10 times. Uh, I suggest when you are testing a pee bottle, test it quite a few times different times of the day different times of your cycle if you happen to have a cycle and uh, because bits change they change shape and direction and flippy floppiness <laughs> and that's why I suggest testing it 
quite a number of times. Uh, yeah, so I, I did have a tiny bit of spillage one time in the bath, but that is where the testing was um, a good thing because it meant that I sort of figured out exactly where I need to hold this so that nothing spills. Um, the other thing I recommend is when you uh, need to pee, use some kind of, I have to switch hands again, my arm is getting so sore. Use some kind of uh, waterproof something or other underneath you. So if you do get it wrong, it means that you won't make a huge mess like I did. Yes, that was fun. <laughs> so this, so far this has been good. I think these are a limited release. So if you don't mind, Ollie, stay in the car. Ollie, stay. She looks like she's about to jump out again. She's just at the end of the car there. So yeah, Nalgene bottles seem to do the trick, at least for me. Uh, we're all built a bit differently. And that is why I suggest whatever solution you decide to go with, test it a lot of times before you take it out on the road. Um, because you never know exactly how it's going to work until you've tried it quite a number of times. Uh, my other advice is, um, I've forgotten now, what's my other advice? Oh yes, my other advice is to have more than one bottle available because if you aren't sure uh, how soon it is that you're going to be able to get to a public toilet where oh, you can no, dump the contents of your pee bottle, or an appropriate place that isn't sort of um, gonna make, you know, like a camping area stink like urine, because nobody wants that. Um, you're gonna need to find some place to put this so that you don't uh, run out of space. Um, so I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do with this bottle um, after I decided I wasn't gonna use it as a pee bottle anymore. Because there's, I mean, it hasn't been used that much and I could put it through the dishwasher, but I'm not gonna give this to anyone in good conscience knowing that it's been peed in. And I'm certainly not gonna use it to drink out of. But uh, I, I realized that this can be my extra pee bottle because Alexis and I have one of these each. You can see my name is on there. I labeled them so we didn't get them mixed up. And uh, I thought, well, these can be our sort of overflow bottles. Um, and when this one is full, I can empty it into this one, which means this one will be available again for me to pee into. Yeah. So that is my story of how I manage yeah, peeing in a bottle in the car. Um, yes, with the very amusing story of well, peeing myself in, in my car. So that's my advice. Thanks for watching and <laughs> going through this entire story and listening to me talk about urine. If you haven't already, um, I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel grow. Um, so thanks for watching so far and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.